New at 10, opponents deliver their message, but the city of Grand Forks is sticking with its mask mandate. Just one week into the move aimed at slowing the spread of COVID-19, protesters gathered outside City Hall. Valley News Team's Katie Opperly has their story as well as that of city leaders. Rules off my face. Children, business owners, and students gathered outside Grand Forks City Hall, armed with their voices and signs, challenging the Grand Forks mask mandate. I really want people to have the freedom to wear a mask or not wear a mask. I think it should be a personal decision and not a decision from the people higher up in the government. Chanting facts, not fear, and show me the science. These people want the mask mandate removed. Uh, there's no science to illustrate that wearing a cloth, a random cloth mask on your face is going to stop COVID, a common cold, influenza, any kind of bacterial or viral uh, infection. The mask mandate was put into place October 26th with no penalty to those who don't comply. It asks people to wear masks or risk being removed from businesses. We want to let people know that they can breathe fresh air and not be afraid of this thing. Some of the protesters then addressed city leaders directly at the commission meeting, all refusing to mask up. City leaders are not budging, saying masks do work and the community is benefiting from the new policy. I mean, it's hard to quantify. We'd have to do you know further study on that, but I think we're seeing a lot more compliance with the, the resolution that was passed uh, a week ago today, and, and hopefully that, that continues and we can uh, uh, you know see numbers start to, to curtail. The mayor cited national studies showing continued support for their current mask policy. In Grand Forks, Katie Opperly, Valley News Live. Members of the Midwest Public Health Coalition say they will continue to pick it until a change is made. Up next, farmers relying on government payments, what they say needs to change.